this is Benny Dragoo here at the Community Humane Shelter here in Angola. We are here to do a dog intake. Um, if you previously watched our last video of a cat intake, um, it's very similar, obviously just a different species. So we do a couple different things. This is Dutch, he has been on our Facebook page. He was found close to the Ohio border by one of our employees near her home and she found him frozen and she got him in her vehicle and actually started warming him up and then that's when she found that he was actually wounded. So as you can see, he's actually got um, staples in his back. He was taken down to Knives, the emergency um, animal hospital down in Fort Wayne upon um, veterinary advice that we had gotten from our local vet clinics up here in Angola. And upon investigation, he was completely riddled with BBs, especially in his back end area. And upon investigation, he was shot. So he is going to be our little um, intake dog today because he does need to be intaken. Um, he is due for shots, um, flea preventative, heartworm preventative, also needing a heartworm test. So he's going to get all of that good stuff done to them today. And as of right now, we are still looking for somebody to foster him. If you are interested in fostering him so that he can recover in a nice, calm home, preferably with no dogs, or if you have a dog that's on the older side, that's not as rambunctious. If you're interested in fostering him so he can recover, just give us a call um, or message us on Facebook. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get his weight. 40.6. He's a big old 40.6. So we're going to go ahead and drop some strong jib, which is a warmer. And we've already drawn up his vaccines um, here today. He's going to get, this is the strong jib, which is the warmer. Um, this is the Pana's, or the, um, the Bordetella for his kennel cough vaccine. And then this is the DAPP, which is the distemper to protect him from all of the common diseases um, that naturally come in to shelters um, when we bring in strays. As well as he's gonna get microchips, so that way he's protected on that as well. All right, so we are going to go ahead and give him his distemper shot. We did find that he did have some tapeworms earlier, so we did give him some extra wormer before, which is called Drontal, so that would take care of like the tapeworms and all the other stuff, but it honestly doesn't hurt them to give them a little bit extra wormer just in case we miss any other ones that might potentially be in their systems. But I'm gonna go ahead and give him his vaccine. Come here, Sydney. Come on! Come here! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of go down more towards where his leg is. Don't, don't look. And I'm just gonna pinch, poke. All right. And you didn't feel anything. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna shoot uh, the pizza roll. This is an oral. It doesn't really taste very good, so I like to do that first and then the strong jib, because strong jib tastes like bananas. <laughs> so we like to do the bad tasting stuff and then the good tasting stuff. You want your banana? And she distracts him, we're gonna just nope. Yeah. And your banana. Oh, that was a new one. This is the microchip. Um, it's a little bit it's a bigger needle. Um, so it some dogs don't mind it, others do because like I said, it's a bigger needle. Uh, microchipping um, is really essential with our shelter animals. Um, every dog and cat that leaves our shelter is microchipped. Um, it's just another form of identification. So whenever you adopt a dog or a cat from us, they will already be microchipped. Um, it's part of the adoption fee, it's part of the adoption process. We also provide that service to already owned pets. Um, at a $40 fee. So if you are interested in getting your pets, whether it's a cat or dog, microchipped, um, we can most certainly do that for you. Like I said, it's a $40 fee and you're more than welcome to call ahead just to see if we can get you in. And it's less than basically a couple minutes. It'll just be a, like a shot, go right between the shoulder blades, it'll be right underneath the skin. 
and they will be now identi identified with that microchip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like I said, we're gonna do right between the shoulder blades. I'm just gonna pinch the skin, go right between it. Yep, just like that. Oh, you failed that, didn't you? But it's okay. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna use our hand dandy microchip scanner just to make sure it is completely in there. So it's ready to go. And it's there. So he is officially microchipped, so he is good to go with that. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to um, draw some blood from him, um, just a little bit of it, um, so we can do a heartworm test. It's a very, very important test, because uh, heartworms are not good, especially for dogs um, or anybody. Um, they hide out and they breed right there in the heart, and it causes very, very huge discomfort in the dog. Uh, causes their lifespan to be shortened very, very much so. So um, we're gonna do a heartworm test to see if he's negative or positive. Um, if he's negative, great. We'll go ahead and treat him for preventatives. If he happens to be positive, we will treat him for with um, heartworm killer. Um, it'll be a slow kill. Um, that'll be for six months, and um, hopefully he's not here in six months. Um, but um, in a six months time, if he happens to be adopted, we offer the adopter to come right back to us and we retest him for free and check him again. If he happens to be negative, then the killer, um, the heartworm killer worked and then he can move on and live a normal life. So we're gonna go ahead and get that test done. All right, so disclaimer, if anybody is very squeamish and does not like <laughs> it does not like the sight of blood or the sight of needles. Please look away and come back in a couple minutes. Okay. 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 Good boy. Good boy. All right, so we're just adding the antigen to the sample. Gently tossing it so it don't clot. Adding it to the tester. And then into our lovely machine. All right, so 10 minutes later, um, Dutch is negative. So that is great. So he does not need to be on a heartworm killer, um, but he still does need to be on preventatives to make sure that he stays heartworm negative. Because heartworm is transmitted through a mosquito bite that is infected with a heartworm. Um, and then it's passed through the blood system. So we want to make sure that he is fully protected on a preventative. Um, they have multiple different kinds out there now. Um, through your vet, um, you can order stuff off of Chewy with your vet and everything like that. Um, we're gonna use what we have in um, on hand right now. Um, what we're gonna use is a new um, a new brand um, that recently came out, um, and it is called Amoxy, um, and it is a topical. Um, it is a it is equivalent to Advantage Multi. Um, in regards to, it covers everything. It covers heartworm preventative, it covers flea preventative, tick preventative. It is also a wormer, so it'll, it soaks down in and it'll cover um, any other intestinal worms that might go in. So he's basically covered on any wormer, for sure. So we are gonna go ahead and apply that on him. Like I said, it's a topical, so it'll just go right down his back um, and it'll just soak into the skin. So we'll go ahead and apply that right now. Go ahead and just kind of go down, kind of avoid where the microchip was implanted. That way. And because he's wearing a cone, we definitely don't have to worry about him looking at all. Because um, he's wearing a cone because of those staples that are in his back. So those staples that you see on him, those will come out within 10 to 14 days 
once he's completely healed. Um, but like I said, we are also still, we are still looking for a foster, like I said in the beginning of the video. So otherwise, um, we do need to take a picture of him. So we just need to grab a quick picture so that we can put it on his electronic profile. That way he can be seen online. You said you wanted to. You just have to get that open. I know you didn't want to get it open, but we need to hand some picture from you. Okay, so we're gonna just take a quick, quick pick. Oh my goodness, I want your mouth closed for it. <laughs> Oh, it's a good picture. It's a good picture. All right, so we'll got the picture, so we'll just upload that onto his electronic profile. That way, he will be seen online, and then hopefully, when he is all healed up, he will then get a scheduled um, appointment to be fixed. Once he's fixed, then he will be available for adoption, and then he will go to his good, happy home.